whenever you are coming on board you will see a big red sign on the on the accommodation of the vessel it says safety first and that means take care of yourself always take care of yourself make a short vlog about the hospital on board the vessel uh, at the moment I am on board the commercial vessel on a chemical tanker and this is the designated uh, hospital it's a cabin which has been designated as a hospital it's not a real hospital we have here an oxygen tube an oxygen concentrator we just received this one from China because we are uh, in a pandemic still In case somebody gets COVID on board, we need to supply him with fresh oxygen. I think this is uh, more effective than uh, the bottle what we have here. I am not sure. I am not uh, medically trained. <laughs> uh, anything else here? Full of medicine. The second mate is in charge of uh, the hospital. He is the designated person to help you in case you get sick. We even have a resuscitator here. It's sealed. I cannot open it. But it looks like this. He should be trained to use this to assist you. And this is a stretcher. We use the stretcher uh, to simulate whenever a crew member has fallen in a cargo tank or a ballast tank. It's a stretcher made of bamboo. What? It's flexible. And whenever you put a person inside, it will take the shape of that person. But it has limitation. You have to be maximum uh, two meters height, and uh, from what I remember, 150 kilos maximum. If you have more than this, it will be a problem for you. We cannot hold you with this stretcher, it will break down. But anyway, if you are that heavy, if you are more than 150 kilos, you should not be on board. You should not pass the medical. But I believe that maybe you will uh, give a small attention to somebody who knows somebody and they will bring you on board. So if you are that heavy, you have to take care of yourself because the stretcher cannot hold you in case you fall down somewhere and you broke your leg and we have to bring you up so be careful so this is the things that we have here to be honest this is not much help we have medicine here but we do not have trained personnel to help you we do not have real doctors here or a nurse the second mate as i said already is designated to assist you with the uh, any medicine that you would need but uh, he will give you whatever he has on board at that time but he is not medically trained he will just guess like any person <laughs> better you ask uh, your family through whatsapp or uh, instagram what you should take in that moment and i will give you a quick advice if you have never been on board when you are just curious or you you will come on board soon as a cadet uh, better take medicine from your own country just bring them in your bag, in your luggage. Bring them here because I, I am sure that in 20 years, 25 years, how old you are now, you have used medicine before. And you know better than anyone what works on you. 
yeah because I will tell you something else the medicine that we have here is made in China we do not have a Chinese person on board now we had two months ago but now he signed off so the prospect of the medicine is in Chinese nobody here can read Chinese you understand what I'm saying right <laughs> the second mate will just give you something but he does not know of your medical history if you have some problem and maybe if you take this medicine it will interact with your uh, with your body a different way and you will get more sick than you really are usually the hospital is used if you are in a long voyage and uh, you just need a quick medical attention but norm in a normal situation whenever you reach the port the captain has to send you to a hospital to a real doctor and that doctor will decide if you are fit for work or you need to be uh, hospitalized or you need to be sent home he will give you just unfit for work and you have to be signed off if uh, there is a, a medical problem or a serious medical problem with you but if you, have, if you have a small cold or some headache yeah we can assist you with that we have medicine for that small problems small medical problems so first of all safety first whenever you are coming on board you will see a big red sign on the on the accommodation of the vessel it says safety first and that means take care of yourself always take care of yourself do not count on the hospital of the ship or on the second mate that he will assist you take care of yourself first yeah so i have received this question uh, on my vlogs how do we take care of the uh, of uh, the persons on board which have a sickness so this is how from the hospital that is designated here some medicine that we have but as I said uh, do not count on this yeah only for a small headache some small cough and that's it but if you have something serious God forbid huh? <laughs> nobody wants to go through that this is one of the dangerous things about our uh, seaman life that is why that is one of the reasons why we have such high salaries you can get sick and if you are a long voyage nobody can help you anyway I don't want to get too grim <laughs> I don't want to make you sad just take care of yourself usually people are healthy that is why you take a medical examination before you come on board you have your own medicine so take care of yourself not to have any accident while you are on board and that's it please like the clip if you liked it share it to your friends maybe they are curious also what we have discussed here and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed I wait for you in the comment section below if you want me to do a vlog about a particular subject if you are interested about something else or if you have any questions please leave uh, a comment as much as I can I reply to all the comments thank you very much for your attention and I hope you have a wonderful day goodbye